Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is a relaxing winter clean with me. We woke up to some snow on the ground so I decided to take the morning to get some things done around the house. I really hope you guys enjoy this video whether you are cleaning alongside with me or just relaxing. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. I'm starting by throwing in a load of laundry and then we're going to make our way into the kitchen. I typically start the mornings resetting from the night before so there are always bottles and things waiting to be sterilized and washed. There were dishes in the sink. Usually I'm pretty good about cleaning the kitchen the night before but not always and lately after the baby goes to bed around 7:30, I love to have some sort of snack in bed and I'm too lazy to clean the dish or whatever I'm using by that point so I leave it for the morning but do you do most of your cleaning at night or in the morning? Let me know. I'm running this drying rack under some hot water with soap once a week sometimes more I like to give it a really good clean because there is a ton of buildup on the tray part from using the rack so often I try to get most of Weston's things organized and ready for the day and then worry about my own stuff but he was down for his first nap during this portion of the video and then wakes up as you'll see in a little I'm still exclusively pumping so getting through washing the pump parts and bottles takes up a good bit of time in the mornings. The baby is behind me and his bouncer watching but right after I get through this I wipe down the rest of the counters and backsplash. This was my first time filming with no help so it was a shit show to say the least. I had to stop a hundred times, go back and forth between feedings, naps, etc. I know it looks like I have things together because the pieces are seamlessly edited that way, but no, it was not like that behind the scenes. There's only so long the baby will sit and watch me before wanting to move on to a different activity. So I do what I can when I can, and if what you can get done today is just a load of laundry, that's perfectly fine too. I even told you about the sacred grounds where I go when I need to shout. There is more to you than words can say. You're the roof when I'm with We 
We brought Weston outside in the snow. This was his first snowstorm. I'll add some pictures on the screen. Joe bought him this snowsuit. I can't get over how adorable he looks. It's like a marshmallow, but I have all of these pictures on my phone that I eventually want to have printed and put in albums for him. It's funny how technology is now. When I was younger, we would have those disposable cameras, wait to get them developed, which took like a week and always had the hard copies, but with phones, I'm taking 100 pictures a day, I mean, of everything. <laughs> Nothing is printed, and if I lost my phone, I don't even know if I'd be able to recover them, so I have to get those printed at least as soon as possible. In my last video, I told you guys I was going to share with you the new playmat I received for the nursery too. That will be in a little, and also a recipe. You see me The floors in the kitchen were so dirty, I decided to steam mop them today. The pad attachment that comes with this um, mop is double-sided, so I always use both before washing it. That's what I'm doing here, rotating it around. I'll show you an after of what that's looking like once I go over the floors. That was the after of the mop cloth, lots of dirt, but now that the floors in here are taken care of, I'm going into the living room and dining room to put away a box, my pump, and toys that were on the ground. I was always on the cleaner side, but since becoming a mom, I'm much more aware of disinfecting things for the baby. So the skip hop was one of the areas I wanted to work on today. The Bissell Steam Shot sterilizes with water alone. I've used this for years in my videos and still love it. The activity center needed it bad though. I wanted to focus on this because I knew once he was up from his second nap, he would be in this part of the living room. I didn't want him to be bored staring at me again in his baby Bjorn. I do get a good amount done in this video, but like I said earlier, I feel like it's important to reiterate this again and again, but 
this is not every day. I don't want anyone to think I'm able to get as much done as I do in this video on a daily basis with Weston. He has really great days. He has days where he's more fussy and I don't get a single thing done. So when he has a great day, I try to take advantage of it and get done as much as I can. When Joe is home on the weekends, that's when I do the serious deeper cleans and tackle much more. But on a daily basis, we're doing a little at a time. Sometimes I give up, just want to be on my own Even in the darkest times, you give me hope So I lean on you when I've lost my way I keep holding on for a better day I lean on you when the world's astray By this point, I heard the baby, so I was rushing to finish down here. I'll come back in a little, but in the meantime, we'll go upstairs. And now we're headed into the bedroom, first picking up what's out. I had given the baby a bath the night before in our bathroom and always leave the bathtub, toys, and stuff to dry overnight on a towel. But after I pick things up, I'll make the bed. I try to get things organized in the bedroom at least once a day because if I don't, this room quickly turns into a disaster in no time. That is spit up on the headboard. I talked about this Hoover machine in my last video, but it's so convenient and portable to spot clean areas like this one. Although the headboard will be wet after going over it, when I go to make the bed, I'll place the pillows a little further away than normal so it can dry throughout the day. I still wanted to get the bed made though, so the pillows were off the floor. We have a carrier and I tried baby wearing or whatever it's called. I think that's what it is, but he does not like it. And I honestly don't think it's easier to get things done that way. You have this huge baby hanging on the front of your chest and he's not so light anymore. Maybe if he was a newborn, that would have worked out better. But again, he just never liked it. I prefer to hold him on my hip if I need to, but Weston honestly enjoys watching me, especially with the vacuum. He's very interested in what's going on, but I'm quickly going over the floors to get up any hair or dust that's sitting on them. We thought we'd be forever young. 
young, but now I know we can't keep floating. We have to fall. This is the beat of broken hearts. Is it our lost? We can't go on. It's time to put together this puzzle mat. These clips were from last week, so that's why I'm in a different outfit. I will link this mat down below if you are interested, and I'll show you details right after this. But let me just say, using this mat instead of the rug that was here has been life-changing for this stage. Between the spit-up and drool, I can't believe I didn't get one sooner. Highly recommend if you are having a baby, definitely, definitely invest in one of these. Keeps it dead in my mind Leading me on like it's whatever We could go on but we should know better this is the Tidal Kind Premium Foam Mat. It's a perfect blend of style, safety, and functionality designed with both parents and babies in mind. These play mats are not just a space for your little ones to explore, play, and grow, but they also serve as a chic addition to your home decor. What I love most, aside from the modern pattern, is the wipe clean design. I chose the linear design in the color linen, and it looks so much like a rug without the hassle. With just a few snaps, the playmat was ready to be enjoyed and fit seamlessly into our home. The last thing I'm getting to today before showing you what we had for dinner are the floors downstairs. I've made it a habit to do this once a day or at least try my best to. That way this area is always clean for when we're playing with the baby. I was at my mom's house looking through her recipe books and found this one that I'm making today. There's something so nostalgic about that. I usually find recipes online, but I love to look through cookbooks. Anyone else the same? But anyways, I wanted something comforting and warm this day, so I made this roast in the crock pot. I'll also include down below the ingredients I used, but to get that going, I added some chuck roast, seasoned it with salt, pepper, and thyme, and then added in that chopped celery, one bag of baby carrots, one can of diced tomatoes, some red wine, one bay leaf, and then a frozen bag of pearled onions. That will cook on low for eight hours. The meat has cooked through and the final step is to add some cornstarch to thicken the sauce. I also did add garlic, I forgot to mention that, but I served this over egg noodles with a side salad and then I drizzle brown gravy on top just like one of those packets. I've also done it over mashed potatoes, so good either way. That's going to wrap up today's video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you back here in the next one.